figure out what the flip it is, I guess you might as well figure it out with me. What is socialism? Any of the various, what the fuck is that word? Eglaturation, economic and political theories of, or movements advocating collective or governmental ownership and administrations of means of production and distribution of goods. If modern socialism was born in 19th century Europe, it, it was subsequently shaped by and adapted to a whole range of societies. Michael Newman's socialism is about a change in the means of production so that the people who do the work are the ones who make the decisions about what gets produced and how. So how the fuck is socialism bad? Either way, a system of society or group living in which there is a, where there is no private property. Yeah, I'm still not seeing the bad side. A system or condition of society in which the means of production are owned and controlled by the state. I'm starting to see a bad side. Many socialists today believe that socialism is not inevitable, but must be built slowly and laboriously by the political and economic actions of men and women seeking a freer, freer goofy, and more just society. Three, a stage of society in Marx marxist theory that is transitional between capitalism capitalism and communism what's communism i guess we're gonna be googling for a minute well duck duck going and is distinguished by unequal distribution of goods and pay according to work done marx we know provided both a theory of society in which there would be a movement from feudalism feudalism through capitalism to socialism and an analyst of the nature of class exploration under capitalism and a sketch of the large principles of a socialist society Lenin would advance these ideas further oh my god now let's go back to fascism a system of government marked by centralized of authority under a dictator, a capitalist economy subject to strings, stringent government controls, eh, violent suppression of the oppression, <laughs> violent suppression of the opposing, opposing, opposition goofball, and typically a policy of belligerent nationalism and racism, a political philosophy or movement based on or advocating such a system of government, oppressive dictatorial control, and communism. Let's figure out the fuck that is. I don't know how to spell. Here we go. Thank you for knowing what I was going for. Communism is a left-wing... I don't know what the fuck left-wing shit is. Left-wing, too far left, social, political, philosophical, and economical, uh, economic ideology with the socialist movement whose goal is the creation of a communist society. What the fuck is communist? A socio-economic order centered around common ownership of the means of production. Well, let me keep reading more. Distribution exchange that allocates products to everyone in the society based on... Okay, what the fuck's the problem? Mm, allocates products to everyone in the society based on need. A communist society would entail the absence of private property and social classes and ultimately money in the state or nation state. What's the problem? I'm confused. Communists often seek a voluntary state of self-governance, but disagree on the means to the, this end. There's the problem. There's the problem. This reflects a distinction between a more liberate Asian socialist approach of communization, revolutionary spontaneity, and workers' self-management and a more authoritarian, vanguardist, or communist party-driven approach through the development of a socialist state, followed by the withering away of the state. As one of the main ideologies on the political spectrum, what the fuck's a political spectrum? Communism is placed on the left wing alongside socialism. I don't think I've, we looked up socialism yet. And communist parties and movements have been described as radical left or far left. 
variants of communism have been developed throughout history, including Antichrist. What the fuck? Anarch- Anar- Anarchist communism, goofy. Marxist schools of thought and religious communism. Among others, communism encompasses a variety of schools of thought, which broadly include Marxism, Leninism, and liberate- liberation. Communism, as well as the political ideologies grouped around those, all of these different ideologies generally share the analysts that the current order of society stems from capitalism. It's economic system and mode of production that in this system there are two major social classes, that the relationship between these two classes is explorative, and that this situation can only ultimately be resolved through a social revolution. The two classes are the proletarian who make up the majority of the population which society and must see their labor power to survive and the bourgeois I have no idea what the flip I'm saying a small minority that derives profits from employing no employing the working class through private ownership of the means of According to the analyst, a communist revolution would put the working class in power. So what's the problem with that? In turn, establish common ownership of property, the primary element in the transformation of society towards a communist mode of production. Communism is its modern form grew out of the socialist movement. We still need to figure out the fuck socialism is. Either way, I'm getting sick of reading this, and like I think I go communism is and I don't like I kind of get why it's too bad because there is no line of like it's essentially intelligence when you know how to do a lot of things but where do you draw the line for the sake of science to learn the experiments which is why like oh it's fine if you experiment on monkeys and giraffes and this and like that but once you start experimenting in humans that's where we draw the line but I've always been told every single life is precious but When it's not a human life, it's not precious. But when it's not a rich human's life, it's definitely not precious. When it's a poor human, it's not precious. When it's a a drugged out human, it's not precious. But when it comes to experimenting things to try to figure out if it's safe for humans, we just use animals. But at the same time, we'll still destroy humans over some animals. I'm just confused. Is all lives precious or is it just all dependent on who you are, what you are, and who is judging you so it's just mm, i always get confused <coughs> excuse i e me again excuse me i socialism is an economic and political philosophy what the flip why am i so gacy encompassing diverse economic and social systems characterized by social ownership of the means of production a lot of this shit's about business of course as opposed to private ownership it describes the economic political and social theories and movements associated with the implement implementation of such systems social ownership can take various forms including public community collective cooperative or employee i still don't get what socialism is though traditional socialism is one of the left wing or the political spectrum I need to figure out what political spectrum is as well. Types of socialism vary based on the role, markets, and planning in resource allocation and the structure of management and organizations. It's like there's not one size fits all for fucking anything. But we'll not talk about that currently. Socialist systems divide into non-market and market forms. A non-market socialist system seeks to eliminate the perceived inefficiencies, irrationalities, unpredictability, and crises that socialists traditionally associate with capital accumulation and the profit system this isn't sounding too horrible either but i'm still not getting the information i'm currently reading so therefore until i process it enough for me to get what i'm reading i probably shouldn't be making a judgment quite yet market socialism i love that is retains the use of monetary prices factor markets and sometimes the profit motive Socialist parties and ideas remain a political force with varying degrees of power and influence. Heading national governments in several countries, socialist political policies have been internationalist and nationalist, organized organized through political parties and opposed to party policies, at times overlapping with trade unions and other times dependent and critical of them and present in industrialized and developing nations. Social democracy. I still don't know any of the shit that I'm reading. Bean daddy. 
<laughs> really, whatever. With the socialist movement supporting economic and social interventions to promote social justice while retaining socialism as a long-term goal is the post-war period social democracy embraced a mixed economy. If anybody knows what the hell I'm reading because I still don't get what the hell this is. Like, kind of, but not really. Kind of. Because there's just so many branches. Like, I just feel like that's what makes it so hard for information that just has... A lot of bullshit. I'm just going to say it. It's just a lot of bullshit. Because this should be socialism is blank. But it just says socialism is an economic and political philosophy, which just gives me more fucking questions. And then it uses even bigger words as just like, I know what encompassing and diverse means. And then it goes back to economic and social system. This should just be socialism as a thought process in the group of people that believe that the people should have the money or the uh, rich people should have the money. The poor people should have the money. The people are strong on drugs should have the money. The fucking people across the way should have the money. Like, I feel like that's how things should be defined. But for some reason, they want to make things way more difficult than it needs to be. Or maybe I'm just a fucking idiot. Either stinking way, I don't know what the hell socialism is. I've liked the other ones a little bit better because I actually understood it after reading it, but socialism just leaves me completely perplexed. A political spectrum is a system to care to characterize and classify different political positions in relation to one another. These positions sit upon one or more geometric axes. Oh, I'm out of more words. That represent independent political dimensions the expressions political compass and political map are used to refer to the political spectrum as well especially to popular two-dimensional models of it most long-standing spectra spectra include the left-right dimensions as a measure of social political economic hierarchy which originally referred to seating arrangements in the french parliament after the revolution of 1789-1799 with radicals on the left and a Crits on the right. I don't know what the fuck that is. Let's go hierarchy for a hot second. Bitch, I said let's go to hierarchy for a hot second. We don't care about social satisfaction. I said hierarchy. What the hell? How does that work? Whatever. Social satisfaction refers to society's categorization, cato, categorization of its people into groups based on socioeconomic. What the fuck is that? Socioeconomic status, SES, is an economic. What's economic? Why do you keep you economic and sociolog sociological? Another big word. Combined total measure of a person's work experience and of an individual's or family's access to e economic resources and social position in relation to others. Of course, comparisons, yet again in life. It's not who you are, it's who you are in comparison of the other person you're being compared to, essentially. When analyzing a family's SES, the household income and the education and occupation of its members are examined, whereas for an individual SES, only their own attributes are assessed. Recently, researchers has revealed... Revealed a lesser recognized attribute of SES is perceived financial stress as it divides the bounds between income and necessary expenses. Perceived financial stress can be tested by disappearing hearing. Whether a person at the end of each month has more than enough, just enough or not enough money of resources. However, SES is more commonly used to dis depict an economic difference in society as a whole. Okay. So that's a socio. See, I get what the fuck that means. It's basically I compare my money to your money. If you have more money than me, then you're more popular. You have a higher stance. People are gonna care about you more than me. But if I have less money than you, then nobody's gonna give a fuck if I die. Like yes, it's gonna be some people. But if I'm a nobody, that just means nobody cares when I die. But if you're somebody because of your social economic, because you have money and you know people that know people and blah 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 that when you die, that means people are gonna care because the people that you know are people that other people care about as well. So it's like you're somebody, I'm a nobody. That's exactly how I get socioeconomic. But the other fucking bitch, that other bitch, fuck it, I read like a good two paragraphs and I still don't know what the fuck I was reading. Economics, economics is focuses on the behavior and interactions of economic agents and how economies work. Microeconomies analyze what is viewed as basic elements. Why can't I just say an economy is just a fucking group of people, essentially? 
like rather it's a city rather if it's a village it's just a bunch of people pooling and working money into the system and that is what an economy is essentially or maybe it's not people maybe it could just be an ecosystem of uh insects or reptiles or either flipping way or maybe economies is or economics is for the fucking humans and not for the other lesser forms of animals because humans are still animals it's just we're the morphological yet we do some fucking illogical shit whatever Big into the reading, Ethan. Economics focuses on the behavior and interactions of economic agents and how econo economics work. Mis microeconomics analyzes what is viewed as basic elements within economics, including individual agents and markets, their interactions, and the outcomes of interactions. Individual agents may include, for example, household firms, household firms, buyers, and sellers. See, microeconomics analyzes economics as systems where production, distribution, consumption, savings, and investment expenditures interact and factors affecting its factors of production, such as labor, capital, land, and enterprise, inflation, economic growth. Okay, I didn't mention the whole entire, oh yeah, they exchange money and how much land they also encompass, but either fucking way, they are making this more harder than it fucking needs to be. And public po policies that have impact on these elements, it also see, seeks to analyze and describe the global econo economy. Other broad distinctions with economics include those between positive economics describing what is and normative economics advocating what ought to be. Oh, I'm a what ought to be type of person because what is sucks. What ought to be is better. But no, we've been following these rules for generations. Yeah, and you see where the fuck it got us now. Exactly. But whatever. Between economic theory and and applied economics. What's it? Mm. Between rational and behavioral economics, what the f <laughs> and between mainstream economics and heterodox economics, it's like there's not a fucking simple anything. Like, it, like you might know one thing, but do you know the divisions into that one thing? You might know the last name, but do you know the divisions in that. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen, those I don't know prefer pronouns to like that. You have in education is the reason why you are upset. But instead of actually searching for information, you just like eh, I don't get it. And because I don't get it, I'm gonna be angry. And because of that, I might destroy it, or I just might call it names, or I just, I just, I just, I just, I'm just not gonna respect it. Either flip away. What I'm trying to get at is the more that you learn, the more that you realize you still have a shit ton to learn. And that's why I keep learning about things. So I'm willing to listen to a lot of things and try to discern if it's true or not. But I'm not gonna get angry for the fact that I don't know something. I'm gonna be very childish. Be like, ooh, what else? What else? What else? And if you choose to lie to me, that's your fucking choice because I choose to tell the truth and that's also my choice as well. So if you choose to get mad at me because I'm a very honest person, then why? It's not my fault you choose to be dishonest. I choose to be honest. We have options in this world and you choose what you choose. I choose what I choose. And either freaking way, we're going to win or lose. And But what's that? It's all perspective anyways. Either flipping way, most of this bothers me. Hey, I don't even know where I was going with this when I was going to read well I don't know. I guess might as well look what democratic is. Yeah, what's a democracy? Like in theory it probably is perfect, but <laughs> what's a well, it's a theory. What's an applied theory? Exactly. You don't know until you know, and that's what an applied theory is compared to theory. And a theory is just thinking that you know, but you don't know until you know, and I just went back into a loop. Exactly. Government by the people exercised either directly through or through elected representations. What if uh, people fuck with ballots? Whatever. A political or social unit that has n such a government... The common people considered as the primary source of political power. See, it sounds good. Majority rule. It sounds good. The principle of social equality and respect of the individual with a community. Government by the people. A form of government in which the supreme power is retained and directly exercised by the people. Why do a lot of these say, like, it's for the people? But the people don't, don't ever really have a voice, though. If you ask me personally, as a person in the people, but like I'm not a people that can actually have much of a power because I'm just a freaking foreign person. That's you get what I mean. I'm a green card holder, is what I'm getting at, and I don't mean weed. The principles of social equality and respect for the individual within a community. <sighs> Government by the people, a form of government in which the supreme power is retained. I read that. Government by the popular representation, a form of government in which the supreme power is retained. But why the fuck didn't I read that? 
but is indirectly exercised through a system of representation and delegated authority per periodically renewed a constitutional representative government, a republic similar. Collective, the people regarded as the source of government, the principles and policy of the Democrats' party, so-called. And now it's a flipping republic. And then we're going to look up liberal, and I think I'm done freaking reading because I'm sick of this. All this information, I still don't get it. Mm. And it never hurts to do your own research because I do realize I'm not digging too deep into the shit. I'm just kind of looking for like what I see on the first page, more or less. And then Wikipedia, I know it can be edited, but if you stop and think about it, when there's enough money in the world, either they will convince you to edit it or they'll make you disappear and then write your own suicide letter. So either you take the money or you have fun with death. And it's because the more that you know is the more that you know. The Republican Party, also known as G GOP, Grand Old Party. Huh. Never knew that. Is, well, I've heard it, but I didn't know why. It's one of the two major contemporary political parties in the United States. It emerged as the main political rival of the then-dominant Democratic, Democratic Party in the mid-1850s. The two parties have dominated American politics ever since. Huh. I wonder well, hmm, how well they've been doing. I don't care. The party was founded in 1854 by anti-slavery activists. Say what? Anti-slavery? Anti-slavery. Activists who opposed the Kansas-Nebraska Act. Let's dip into this for a hot second. Uh, organic act that created the territories of Kansas and Nebraska. It was drafted by Democratic Senate. Stephen A. Douglas passed by the 33rd... Um, okay. <laughs> An act which allowed for the potential expansion of sh shadow slavery. What the fuck is that? Flogging is... Sl what? Just tell me what the hell this is. As a social institution, shadow slavery classes slaves as shadows... Or am I thinking cattle and I'm just being stupid? Cattle. Have I just not seen cattle written? Probably. Personal property owned by the enslaver. Like livestock, yeah, it's cattle, you doofus. <laughs> Never mind, if I could read right, I'd fucking know what the hell the word went. was. I bet you I know what slavery is, but let's read it anyway. Slavery is the ownership of a person as property, especially in regards to their labor, kids. Slavery typically involves compulsory work, you know what I mean, with the slave's location of work and residence dictated by the party that holds them in bondage kids. Enslavement is the placement of a person into slavery, and the person is called a slave or enslaved person. Actually, what I should be looking up is indentured slave, because that's more or less kids. Because, like, they're not slaves, but they're an indented servant, aren't they? Either flipping way. Can I find indented servant on here? We're gonna go on a little bit of a tangent because of that thought process, just to prove a point. Indentured. If I can spell it, it's gonna know what I mean eventually, maybe, possibly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's see if we can spell this out. Sound it out, Ethan. In Dan. Where's it? E. It's an E. I don't know. It's a freaking English language. Indentured. Yeah, but is that. So it was an I. Here we go, here we go, here we go, we found it. Indentured servant is a form of labor in which a person is contracted to work without slavery, uh, without salary for a specific number of years. Kids, the contract called an indentured may be entered voluntary, voluntarily for purported inve eventually compensation or debt repayment. Kids, ah, you have to live in our home. You are in my belly. You are eating this food. Kids. Uh, repayment or imposed involuntarily as a judicial punishment. Kids. The practice has been compared to the similar 
institution of slavery, although there are differences. Of course there is. <laughs> There's always differences. It's just learning what the fuck the difference is, but still exactly the same shit. Kind of. Just differently, if you get what I mean. Regardless if you spray paint the shit green, blue, orange, regardless if you polish it, ain't shit still shit regardless, but if it's gold and diamond and jewel and crescent, I guess it's still shit, but it's a valuable shit. Either way, it just all depends on who the fuck uh, you ask these questions to and who the hell is viewing it because what's $100 worth in the desert when I need water and nobody wants to give any water to me? I got $100, but what if you don't like me? Exactly. That money means nothing. Into the western territories of Kansas and Nebraska supported classical liberalism and economic reform while opposing the expansion of slavery into the well, uh, opposing, good. Expansion of slavery into the free territories. The party initially had a very limited presence in the South, but was successful in the North by 1858. It had enlisted most far, former Whigs and former free soilers to form majorities in near, nearly every northern state. White Southerners became alarmed at the threat to the slave trade. With the 1860 election of Abraham Lincoln, the first Republic president, the deep Southern... Bitch, what the fuck did I read about it in the beginning? You said the... F whatever. Southern states succeeded from the United States under the leadership of Lincoln and a republic... What? Under the leadership of Lincoln and the Republic Congress, the Republican Party led the fight to defeat the Confederate States in the American Civil War. I misunderstood what I was reading the first time, right? Preserving the Union and abolishing slavery, afterward, the party largely dominated the national political scene until the Great Depression. In the 1930s, when it lost its congressional majorities in Democrats, New Deal programs proved popular Dwight D. Eisenhower. To, I don't give a fuck anymore. Either way, it makes no sense in how it was founded. In, in, but, in, but, in, now, I think liberalism, labor, labor, Liberation, I think, is I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, I saw it somewhere. Libertarianism, nope. Where was it? There we go. Uh, or libertarianism, liber liberals. Actually, I'm really looking for, which I'm pretty sure liberals short for that because ain't that a fucking word? Libertarian from French. Of course, it's French. Itself from the Latin liberat, lit. Freedom is a political philosophy that upholds liberty as a core value. Liberations seek to maximize autonomy. Let's figure out what the fuck that word means. Autonomy in developmental psychology and moral, political, and bioethical philosophy. All these fucking new words. Autonomy is the capacity to make an informed, uncoerced decision. We learned what cohorse was in the last of these videos. Autonomous organizations or institutions are independence or self-governing. Autonomy can also be defined from a human resources perspective, which it de denotes a relatively high level of desertion granted to an employee in his or her work. In such cases, autonomy is known to generally increase job satisfaction. Well, I don't want nobody micromanaging me. Self-actualized individuals are thought to operate autonomously of external expectations. In a medical context, respect for a patient's personal autonomy is considered one of many fundamental ethical principles in medicine. Essentially, autonomy is... I'm going to do where the fuck I want to, and I'm aware of what I'm doing and the consequences that come to it, so leave me the fuck alone. At least that's how I read it, either way. <laughs> it's like back before the system was, the system was wanting to get in there. And political freedom emphasizing equality before the law and civil rights to freedom of associations, freedom of speech, freedom of thought, and freedom of choice. Liber I think I like this one the best. Libertarianism's are often skeptical of opposed to authority, state power, warfare, militarism, what the fuck is that? And nationalism, what the fuck is that? Oh, well, I know what nationalism is, uh, love for the country. But some libertarians diverge on the scope of their op opposition 
to existing economic and political systems. See, there's always going to be a fucking fight within the group. Something about something about how intense and why does it have to be that intense. And blah, 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 blah. Various schools of libertarian libertarian thought offer a range of views. See, yet again, there's always that diversity regarding legitimate functions of state and private power. Different categorizations have been used to distinguish various forms of libertarianism. Scholars distinguish libertarian views on the nature of property and capital, usually along left, right, or I don't know this left, right bullshit. I don't know which one's my left or right hand half the time. Socialist, capitalist lines, libertarians of various schools were influenced by liberal ideas. In the mid 19th century, libertarianism originated as a form of left wing politics such as anti authoritarian, anti authoritarian, authoritarian. <laughs> anti authoritarianism yeah. is opposition uh, oppression goofy is oppression to authoritarianism author- you know what I said before which is defined as a form of social organization characterized by submission of authority okay favoring complete obedience oh or subjection to authority as opposed to individual freedom. Oh, so it's essentially do as I say, when I say, and how I say, because fuck you, I said so. Because individual freedom, I know what the fuck that is, but we'll click on it anyways. We'll pretend I'm stupid. Individualism is the moral stance, political philosophy, ideology, and social outlook that emphasizes the intrinsic worth of the individual. Individualist. Promote realizing one's goal and desire. I love this already. Valuing independence. What the fuck does that mean? Not a big word. Independence is a condition of a nation, country, or state. What about a human? In which residents and population or some portion thereof exercise self-government? Why do I read some portion thereof and I think fucking wealthy and super rich people? Because... <laughs> Oh, let's continue reason. reading. Exercise self-government and usually sovereignty. Another fucking big word. Over its territory. The opposite of independence is the status of dependent territory or colony. Huh. The, commemor- the commemoration of the Independence Day of a country or nation celebrates when a country is free from all forms of colonialism. Is a pursuing establishment and maintaining of control, exploitation of people and of resources by a foreign group. Okay, but what's it called when it's done by your people is my question. Because, like, we might have gotten away from colonialism, but if you're still getting... F- okay, okay. Because how I think of it is when it's talking about colonialism, let's, let's bring it into family dynamic just because that's what makes the most sense to me. So, colonialism is essentially, like, when you're at home and your uncle tries to molest you. But what's it called when you're at home and your dad or your mom tries to molest you? Because, like, cool, we're not getting fucked with by outside countries, but we're also getting fucked with by our own country. And I'm speaking from an immigrant. Like, I don't know why I keep saying our country like I'm American. But I'm just saying, like, you all Americans are getting fucked by your own country. Is what I'm trying to, you know, either way, reading. Colonial, colonizers monopolize political power and hold conquered societies and their people to be inferior to their conquerors in legal, administrative, social, culture, or biological terms while frequently advanced as a imperial, another big word, Regime colonialism can also imperialist regime colonialism can also take the form of settler colonialism. Is that what I was talking about? Who knows? Settler colonialism occurs when colonizers and settlers invade and occupy territory to permanently replace the existing society with the society of the colonizers. It, oh, like what uh, Great Britain did to America before it was America when the Indians originally lived there and there's like oh we're getting away from our oppressors so we're going to create our own oppressors back to the point Solar colonialism is a form of I don't even know what the fuck that word is can I get it read no I can't I don't care Domination typically organized or supported by an imperial authority which maintains a connection or control to the territory. I don't care about that anymore. Fuck it. 
the sovereignty is what I was actually wanting to read again. Well, in general. Uh, sovereignty can generally be defined as supreme authority. Bitch. What the fuck does that mean? Sovereignty entails hierarchy. Bitch. You didn't even find hierarchy last time I clicked on hierarchy. Within the state as well as external autonomy for state. In any state, sovereignty is assigned to the person, body, or institution that has the ultimate authority over other people and to change existing laws. Huh. In political theory, sovereignty is a substantive term distinguishing desire designated supreme legitimate authority over some ploity I don't know. In international law, sovereignty is the exercise of power by a state. De jure sovereignty refers to the legal right to do so. De facto sovereignty refers to the factual ability to do so. This can become an issue of special concern upon the failure of the usual expectations that de jure and de facto sovereignty exist at the place and time of concern and reside within the same organization. It's all I read is the French goddess confused again. <laughs> okay, okay. So as I was reading that, I'm just realizing that we're just a bunch of people in costumes playing with fake money and giving fake values over things. And if somebody that's in a costume that has more power than my costume, now I am in trouble and now I can be executed. And if their costume has the uh, mind and ability to be able to orchestrate something to make it look to the masses as if I am way worse than I really am than for me to be uh, executed by their hand which is typically done by a different pot a different party even though they're the ones that verbalize that they want my execution to be done they have many others dirty their hands to get to me and so I figure if I have a lesser being of a costume I just got to do my best to show the community and the people around me that I'm not as bad as they paint me out to be but how am I in reality when everybody Perceives things differently as do I do too. I'm just trying to be at peace with myself, but people can't seem to be happy with themselves, so they take it out on me. But I'm not your reflection, I'm not the water, so I gotta make sure that if I have a costume battle with somebody else, that my costume doesn't get me in trouble because their costume has a fragile ego. I'm just saying, this is just a costume party, and you can switch your costume if you get the education as well as the people in that room approve you but there's many rooms where you can wear the exact same costume and that same room that disapproved you may not um that same room that disapproved you may approve somebody just like you but they like them because they're not you so you just gotta keep moving rooms but there's many rooms that look the same but have different people so what you have to figure out is the room that has your people you can enter the you will never enter the exact same room even though it might look the same. There's always little bit different changes, but did you notice the change? I'm not going to read anymore. I'm done with this. I'm fucking done with it. So thank you for listening to me and my madness. <laughs>